Hi, it's David at Elite Audio and welcome to another unboxing video uh, shot here in our stunning showroom location in the East Nook of Fife. As Grant pans round you'll be able to see the lovely day we've got outside, rather cold, about minus four in some places today here, uh, but yeah, sunny nonetheless. So in front of me today we have the Bonnicky W5 SE speakers. I'm going to unbox these and give you a bit of a rundown on Bonnicky itself as a company. So, W5s here, they are the smallest speaker in the range and they are quite petite to say the least. A lot of people don't realise just how small they are, you guys are going to find out in just a second. But, size isn't everything, uh, I can assure you of that having heard these and what you'll find is, is that with even your system the sound that they project is unbelievable. So a couple of things we need today, we need W5s, which we've got, I've sat them on a table here so that they're at a decent height to actually pick out so Grant can actually film something and he's not down on his knees. On the right hand side here I've got the uh, Stanley blade. So, unfortunately I broke this earlier, uh, I didn't have a chance to get another box from, uh, from Basil and uh, Switzerland where Sven's based, so yeah, sorry about that, I'll have to take that out. Packing on these is actually really, really nice. Um, it's of high quality, as I say, really nice and uh, easy to pack away. Um, you don't have to worry about having crates in a basement or anything like that or in your garage. Just can fit in the in cupboard. So inside here, once you get the box, the top open, remove these. Uh, packing cards you'll see that the two speakers sit side by side. Sven, uh, and that is Sven Bonnicky, he's very much hands on in the uh, business day to day. He's a lovely guy and he's really passionate about his loudspeakers. He absolutely adores what he does and he's spent a lot of time listening to speakers, recording live music and he has a real ear for what should sound natural and what just sounds quite right. So, two cloth bags, I'm going to pick the first one up. So, what you can do with these is lift them up by the corners. Um, just be careful as you're pulling them out because they are a uh, drawstring at the bottom. Once you've got them up enough, uh, just at the top here, a couple of centimetres down each side is fine to lift them out. Get a good hold of them and spin them round. You can see the, the bonnet cable will go there on the side of the cloth bag. Place them down here on the floor. Terminals are obviously at the back, you've got the drivers at the front, so what we'll do is we'll just tip them up like this. Now they're dead easy, they're tiny, unlike the Avantis, you don't have to worry about it. Um, pull this off. Now this pair is finished in cherry. Once the bag is open, you can slide it down over here. Just be careful of the terminals here on the back. Pull that off. And there we have the absolutely gorgeous Bonnicky Audio W5 SE. So we've got the first Bonnicky W5 SE loudspeaker finishing cherry here out of its bag sat on the floor for protection. I've left the other one there in the box. There's really no merit in dragging it out. The procedure is exactly the same. Gives me an opportunity just to run you through the speaker itself. So this one here, I'll just lift it up. It is finished in cherry. They are available in cherry, ash, walnut and oak. The big thing about Bonnicky speakers and all of them, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a W5, A11 or 13, they're all finished in real wood and that's really important because Sven believes that it's the best material to use. Now, it's not cheap and it's not the easiest so there's a lot of time and effort goes in but with the time that Sven has spent listening to different loudspeakers, recording live music, being involved in that industry, for him it is the best material and having listened to them I, I tend to agree, um, plus the fact it looks great and, and there will be a finish within the range that you absolutely love. So in terms of spec, what we've got here is we've got a five and a quarter inch long throw driver. That is on the standard version, now this is SE, I'll talk you through that in a second. The standard version is a long throw grace driver, it's tuned to 65 hertz. It has a first order crossover. On the front here, you've got a three inch wide bander, 
and it's first order I-pass filter and there is a unique mechanical, electromechanical parallel resonator installed. I'll come on to those in a second, some people have asked me what those actually are. You also get LITS wiring silk wrapped inside, so very, very high quality wiring. On the rear, we've got WBT Next Gen binding posts and we've got the uh, ambient tweeter there on the rear base port. So you can see that overall these are of the absolute highest quality. Now if you opt to go up to the SE version, there's a couple of internal changes. This base driver is then tuned not from 65 but down to 50 hertz. Still a long throw. It's got 16 mil excursion on both and uh, you've got an added electrical mechanical parallel resonator to the base unit. You've also got a different crossover layout inside and you've got a Dulant silver foil cap. So the cost of these upgrades is not insignificant in price. And again, people ask me, you know what, what the hell can the difference be? I'm looking on your website, tell me why this speaker is X and this one is, you know, in some cases almost double uh, in the range. And to be fair to Sven, it's the raw cost difference in a lot of cases because the quality of what he's putting in these speakers is absolutely second to none critical those the way they sound. They sound like a different speak. You still get the Bonnicky House sound at every point. You know, there's open, natural, organic, uh, great non-metallic, splashy cymbals, zizzy cymbal sounds. You don't get any of that. It sounds like a real metallic decay, as you would normally expect. Female vocals on any of his speakers sound as real and uh, you know, the texture in vocals, particularly female, but any vocal is just unbelievable. So it's definitely worth it. If you want to go up to the SE Plus, which is the, the next one in the range, a um, few extra bits of a kit inside. So you get electrical mechanical resonators to both drivers and all our parallel and series resonators are of series two type. So Again, slightly different spec on those, and there is a acoustic phase linearization network. Now, if anybody wants to really know more about what these bits are, drop me an email, give me a call, we'll go through it on the phone. Very briefly, the resonators, what they are is they are tuned pieces. Of, now, you can see pictures of these online. I'm not giving away any trade secrets. There was actually a review carried out in the Australian press, and the chap opened them up. And initially when you read that review, he seems almost skeptical about the Bonnicky speakers and these, you know, bits of, uh, he didn't go as far as saying snake oil, but these bits and bobs that someone had put inside to then justify a higher price. And he shows what they are. Now it's a piece of wire that, that's tuned by hand by Sven when he listens to the speakers. And after the, the listening, the reviewer said, these are fantastic, it does make a difference. And I can assure you it absolutely does as well. So that's the spec on them. You also can opt for the dedicated stands. They're just here to the left of the speaker. Now I would 100% suggest that you do buy these. A few people again have said, oh, why not? You know, a really rigid, shock filled or um, sand filled stand that's, you know, a lot taller, brings the tweeter up to your height and things. Well, again, Sven has spent countless hours maximizing the stands and also the swing bases and bases for his uh, floor standing speakers and what he's done is he's tuned the height of the stand so that when this is on top the tweeter is time aligned um, to reach your ears or height aligned rather. The other thing about the stands and again all of his uh, floor coupling mechanisms whether it be a stand or a, a swing base or a base is they are designed to not actually be rigid. And if you look at the measurements that are on Sven's site in reference solely to the swing base, you see a reduction in the vibration rather than an increase of it. The measurements are there for you to see. They've got some felt pads on there to adjust, uh, to keep your floor from being scratched really nice. And you can adjust those for level. They come flat packed, so um, they can be flat packed away again and they built bolt onto the, uh, the bottom of the speaker, just through here. And that's all supplied as part of the stand package. 
So that is the Bonnicky W5 SE Plus. If you want to learn any more, drop me an email, give me a call. Hopefully that's been useful to you seeing those coming out of the box and also seeing them in terms of a sense of scale because a lot of people emails and say just how big are they? Well, you've seen that for yourself. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.